we're talking about two different geographies now. Okay. When we're talking about Mali, we're talking about the Upper Niger, uh, and, and the, for the physical evidence, I mean, they should have physical evidence where they used to be the dome of the University of San Corea at Timbuktu is still in existence. Some of the old houses that were there from the 15th, 16th century are still there. The, there's old Timbuktu and there's a, a, a new process to build a new one. And you can get a plane to Timbuktu every about twice a week out of the car. There's no mystery about any Mm-hmm. Any of this, the literature of the great scholar at Saint Corée, the last of his chancellor, Ahmed Barbers, still exists. I've written two articles on it. And I've also written an article on the intellectual um, history of Saint Corée, and uh, an Englishman, uh, John O'Hunwick, has done some excellent work. In fact, some of you got run on my desk right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, on, on the side, there's no mystery. And yet you find people teach the whole history of Africa and leave, leave it out because they're too lazy to do the research. Mm-hmm. You find Muslims leave it out because they don't want to deal with the fact that that in, in 1591, that area was invaded from Morocco using European mercenaries mm-hmm. and renegade Africans. And, and, and that whole area was destroyed and this facilitated the spread of the slave trade Inland, when you tell the truth about Africa, you're going to take the cover of a whole lot of people and a whole lot of fakery palmed off on us as religion. That include Hebrewism, Islam, and Christianity. Everything was brought into Africa from the outside. Did Africa more harm than good? All organized religions were male chauvinist murder cults. And yet you had spirituality in Africa before mm-hmm. that did not murder people, did not justify taking people's <clears throat> country based on the fact that my God said it's all right. And all the organized religions of the world have used it to justify that murder of other people. I think had man gotten common sense instead of religion, the world would have been much better off. Just, but he, he had to have spirituality because it is spirituality that lifts man higher than the dog. 